Greetings, Internet. I'm once again going to try to stay on topic and cut out as much fluff as I can. But before I cut out the fluff, uh, if this is helpful to you, then do me a solid and subscribe. I'll have some more videos coming out that will hopefully also be helpful to you. And thank you very much to everyone who's commented on my last video. It's really encouraging to get comments, especially as a small channel. So it helps keep me vo motivated to keep making videos. So I'm going to be going over the training methods I found for training a Laura on a character and a style for Flux Context. I'm going to be using AI Toolkit, and if you need to know how to install that, check out my last video. We went over that and how to deal with the weird bugs that it has on Windows. All right, so the main thing you have to figure out for this, obviously, is the data set. How do you teach context what your character is? Now, normally, from what I've seen, in the training is you take a picture, and then you add something into that picture, and then you kind of tell it uh, with captioning, like, oh, I added John. The problem I think that exists there is you're giving it a picture that already has a bunch of data in it, so it gets a little confused on what it's trying to train. So here's what I did. I started with three blank images, and I added my character in. That way there's no background data for it to get confused by. The only thing it has to train on is my character. And then I gave it a keyword that is distinct from anything else context would currently know, seb12345. And then I told it abseb12345 standing in the middle of the picture, black hoodie, beard, tan pants, and seb art style. Um, I did this wrong. I probably should have not tried to make this a compound word because it did not understand that I was trying to tell it that this is also an art style. And then I just did the same thing, basically turned away, looking away, and then black hoodie, beard, you can't see the beard, so that part doesn't matter, tan pants, seb art style. I did not do a good job with this data set, so it does have some issues. Uh, when it's trying to make a picture of the character small, it's very pixelated and blurry. This is due to the fact that I trained on 512 by 512 because I was just trying to get through the training fast. The other thing is I should have had better data. This is not clean data. It's pixelated, blurry. It has artifacting. I also should have had a close-up of his face and probably some different poses and facial expressions. But this was just a quick testing, and it actually turned out pretty good. So that's the, the data set. Very poor quality. Should have done better. Uh, you would just go to New Job, name your Laura, choose Flux Context. Um, BF16 works. I, I don't know what the difference is, but I did FP16. I've not had enough time to actually check out the difference. Personally, I did save every 200 and then max to keep save. I increased, otherwise it only keeps the last four checkpoints saved. And then you can adjust the steps that it does. So your data set, you're going to want to select your data set as the folder or the data set that has your pictures of your character. And then your control data set, you're going to set for the one that has the blank pictures. So data set, the picture with your character or art style, and control data set, the one with just the blanks. And then depending on what GPU you have, you're going to have to change the resolution that you're training on. Uh, my 3090 cannot handle 1024 currently, unless I figure out something. It could do 768, but it's a little buggy for me right now, so it doesn't like working with 768. So I trained on 512, which is not ideal because it's low quality. But I should be able to train on 768 on my 3090. And then this is just what I did for my sample images. I gave it the, the prompting word and told it to do stuff with it, and then I gave it a link to the control image. And then obviously you would create job and run job. This one's already been done. All right, so here's my input picture. I've got my Laura loaded, and now it's running. And ta-da, there's my character. Uh, I told it to do an anime art style, but you can see my character is on point more or less. Um, you can see as we get in closer, you can tell I uh, trained on bad data with artifacting and low quality. But apart from that, you can see that is the character. It clearly needs a bit of work, though. Let's try another. Okay, this one also gave me my character. Uh, as you can see, when it tries to make him small, um, it gets really bad because of, once again, I gave it bad training data. Also, it tried to put him sitting on the stairs over here instead of the ones down here. I want him, wanted him down here. I should have been a little more specific. But you can see it works. Obviously, I need to give it better training data and train it on a higher resolution, though. Now, let's look at what I did for an art style. All right, so here's what I have for the art style, Laura. I got some pictures from of Ander Durain's paintings, uh, which are now public domain, as I understand it. And I collected them, and then I basically copy and pasted them into another folder. And then I opened all of those in an art program and just painted them out white to blank them out. 
the reason why I did this is so that all of the blanks actually match to the image size and resolution of the actual pictures. That way there's no size mismatch on the training. I also went and used a tagger to tag them. It's just very simple. Ander during art style, colorful landscape with trees and mountains in the background. Basically, I just ran it through a tagger, but then I personally added Ander Durain art style. All right, so I've got the Laura selected. Remake this in Ander Durain art style. Run. All right, and here we go. So this is with the Laura going. This is what we started with. This is what we ended with. Pretty much on point for the, the colors and whatnot of the art style. So works pretty well. And I will now show you what the art style looks like without the Laura activated. And here's what it looks like without the Laura activated. Uh, I set the seed to fixed, so it's the same seed, same thing. The only difference is the Laura is not on there. So you can see the art style Laura works pretty well. The character works pretty well. Obviously, I needed to give it better data, but the character is still there, still recognizable from what it would normally do. Um, I have not gotten a chance to test it with concepts and other things yet, but I would assume that this training method will probably work pretty well as well for like concepts and objects. All right, I tried to keep this sucker quick and short just to give you guys the information that I have here. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys in training your Loras on character styles and potentially other things as well. If this was helpful to you guys, then do me a solid and subscribe, drop a like, maybe even leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and if this training method worked for you.